Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I'm talking about the pastor, season number one, episode number three. That never should have happened to you. That was directed by Jason um Ensler. And here we have we have um we have Amy and we have Brad Barrel um Walgas. They have been captured and have been taken in by this government secret agency. But they have been separated. But they promised each other they won't leave each other. They have always got each other's back. So Amy pretty much throws a fit, makes they throw, make a little bit of a ruckus until she gets her way to make sure the only, only person she'll listen to, the only person she wants by her side is is is, uh, is Brad. So she she managed to get him inside her room so she can be there for him to keep him calm through her hard time that she's going through. And at the same time, while they're together, fantastic, because the, their chemistry between them is fantastic. It's great. You can see you can see the whole father and daughter dynamic quite well. They, they, you can tell that they, they, they care about each other already. They, I, the, the, um, now, Sanaya um, Sydney does an amazing job. She's an amazing child actress. Her, her performances feel real, and the, and when you see her when, when she's happy or when she's upset, you you feel, you feel it with her. She does an amazing job, and watching her and Mark Paul Gosler, Gosler interact with one another on screen is just fantastic. You believe them as a father and daughter. You can you can believe them that they, they love and care about each other, and that they got each other's backs. And you root for them when things go well, and you also feel scared for them when things go bad. So now they, they, they give her the drug, like they give every all the other uh, um all the, the adults who make them all turn into monsters. And so they give it to the child. He's got to watch it and take it. And while and while that's happening, you got Brad Brad pretty much investigating with the place, trying to figure out what's going on, what they what what they're really hiding, what these experiments are actually for, what are they really trying to do? Because and, and, while, and while that's happening, you have Amy kind of connecting to one of the um, other people who've experimented on Anthony Carter, who 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 is a prison who was a prisoner, but I think on death row. But he, I think but he got taken out and put in this experiment, and so he's not sick just yet, but he's on the verge too because he's now you got um Fanning. Pretty much talking to him in his head and trying to convince him to join him, because most likely he oh, he's going to, he's going to, he's going to become a monster. It's inevitable, and he's pretty much setting up all these plans and all these schemes. And I like how they're doing it because it's happening all telepathically. And while that's happening, you got um Shauna, she's um one of the um. One of the um, the vampire creatures, and she has been man manipulating and um, going after um, a Anthony throughout this throughout this, throughout this, throughout this whole episodes. She's slowly getting into his head, showing him her life because he wants to have her executed for something that she did. She killed she killed the man, so she wanted like, well, we got this in the butt right now. Just just kill her. But she had been getting inside his head, showing her his, her past, letting all the all the things she went through to get to this point in time, and uh, and, and so through that he connects with her and uh, ends up well doing exactly what she wanted him to do. The way they manipulate people, the way they get inside people's head, is so scary. Because the thing is, though, no one has done no, the vampires have not done anything yet. They have not done anything, not really, not physically. Well, except for the girl who killed somebody. But other than that, they had not really done anything. But they set up all these plans and all these things telepathically, which is so it makes me, it makes me even more scary. Cause you know, just this how powerful are they? Oh. And now that um, Brad actually knows what's going on, what what he's going to do now? Because the girl already got the drug in her. They can't take it. They can't take it out. How is it going to change her? How is it going to affect her? Will she be just some superpowers? Who knows? I'm looking forward to it. I've never, I've, like I said, I said this before in previous episode, in the previous um, video I did. I never, I never read the books, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know how closely the accurate is, is to the books. Are they, are they making some liberties? But for right now, for the for right now for the TV show, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying all the actors involved. I'm enjoying the, the main stars. Um, 
like I said, um, Sanaya's character and Mark Parr, Gosler's character, they pretty much drive this show. And the, the one thing about this episode that made me the happiest of all, Lacey didn't die. Yay! Because last episode of time, you got, um, you got Brad going to Lacey's house because she pretty much trained and they worked alongside each other. She knows him. And she got shot. And I thought, damn, they killed her off. I thought, dang, nab it. They killed her off. But now you find out, nope, she's alive. She survived. I said, yes! Well, it makes perfect sense because Dr. Keller was was with her, so she I guess she managed to get her to the hospital and make her get her, or managed to get to a hospital, managed to save her. Fantastic there, thank you, thank you so much. A win, a small win, but it is a win. I mean they they you got um, Amy and Brad are still captured, but it is what it is, and she still got injected with the serum, so. Uh, how they're going to turn out, like I said, I don't know. But like I said, overall, this whole episode was amazing. I, I'm, I'm enjoying the show. Hopefully, it comes back for the next season. Looking forward to that, fingers crossed. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of The Passage. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy it. And if I'm watching it too, so give my channel a good like, hit the thumbs up, Shaboop! and subscribe to my channel, and share. I really appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams, in my life. I am... The Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples. <laughs>